Welcome to this week's session uh, for Head Start to High School. And it's about our learning spaces at Gaimere. We call it Design to Learn because the school went through a design process to turn a traditional looking secondary school into something much more connected with our students in a 21st century. We're moving into 2021, 21 years into this 21st century, and our students get to enjoy and work and learn in an environment much more conducive to their learning styles. So let me tell you a little bit about the 21st learning journey and the design to learn project as it transforms the classrooms and has transformed the classrooms, the technology and the pedagogy. That is the way that we approach teaching and learning and the way that the kids can move on with their learning in a much more self-regulated and supportive way. We set goals with our Design to Learn project at the outset, and this project started back in 2013, and certainly the school has come a long way in that time. We wanted to make sure that our students were not just sitting in a learning style uh, built back in the 18th century about desks in rows with the teacher with a one directional teaching and learning cycle, that the learning enabled students to use their soft skills and develop those soft skills, just like those skills are used in industry and workplaces today. Our students need to know how to collaborate well with others. And certainly our students grow academically and socially as a result of productive and positive collaboration. They need to learn how to communicate, communicate their learning, communicate their questions, and certainly communicate with other people and different audiences as well. They need to exercise some of that creativity that sits inside every child. And that creativity isn't just about the creative arts, etc. It's about different ways to look at their learning and different ways to explain and illustrate what they do know and how to explore further. And with that, then they can critically think about their learning and certainly are able to embrace some of the concepts and the information that's given in class and gel it in the way that works for them. We have found, and as with the goals here, that the students are much happier and calmer in a classroom. They enjoy the connectedness they have with each other and certainly that greater connection they have with their teachers. With these goals, we also were looking at blending technologies into teaching and learning. And we, we can think back at high school and there was a computer lab and certainly computer labs have their purpose and they may look a little bit different for us than what they traditionally do. But technologies are around us in everything we do every day. So they need to be part of the learning process because they're a valuable tool for that. Teachers use technologies and need to be able to access that technology in a classroom with an instant click, not spending time setting up technologies to create a presentation. Likewise, students need to be able to pick up a piece of technology and use it as a tool in an instant. As part of the project design and certainly its implementation over the years and what continues today as we utilise and continually improve our learning spaces was the engagement of our school community. Certainly our teachers are a big part of this and they were actively involved and undertook professional learning, not just about design of classrooms, but the way that we can teach and collaborate and work with our kids. We are a positive behaviour for learning school. We teach socially responsible behaviours that enable all students to be safe, respectful and successful at what they do. And certainly that is very important in the classroom and very important as they develop those skills in working and collaborating with others to make sure they're respectful, but also very productive and successful for learning. So our teachers were part of that design process, but also very much a part of ongoing professional learning that assists in the development of these learning spaces. Our students are a very excited bunch of kids at our school as we continually improve and look for ways to make our school much more connected and much more useful to where their needs are pointing. 
Uh, there's one thing about the kids at Guy Mew, and that is that they look after their environment and want to be part of that taking care of that environment, but part of its development as well. The picture that's here shows how many students turned up when we asked for a committee of students to join our Design to Learn team. 100 students joined that meeting and each of them through workshops contributed to those aspects of their learning and learning design in classrooms, both inside and outside, that they're looking for. And they have certainly helped steer the direction this school has gone and continue to do it to this day. We've all been to high school and we've sat in these rooms with desks in rows, and that's the way that high schools were established. But we found through good quality research in what helps kids learn, that connection they have with each other, and certainly the ability to develop skills beyond just the academics to help facilitate success in those academics. So we saw desks in rows, we saw cluttered furniture, we saw dull atmospheres in classrooms, and the interaction was very one way with teacher-led instruction. And I think this is the most important aspect of the transformation in that, yes, the rooms look very different because they invoke a different style of teaching. But what is most important is the interaction and connectedness that happens in that room as a result. That could not happen in a traditional classroom. So we're seeing very contemporary looking rooms in a traditional built high school. The desks enable collaboration. They enable students to sit closely to each other. They are designed a little bit more aesthetically. So they're not as dull, that they are a nice place to be in. And that, that's pretty important too. Technology is clearly blended as part of that. Every single room has technology allowing for teacher direct instruction or even students sharing their work. And the use of individual devices integrated into that teaching and learning cycle enables that collaboration to happen even more. What's most important here is teachers and students collaborate with learning as the teachers guide that learning. I spoke about the computer labs in schools and certainly they have changed. And our computer labs are providing kids high spec machines to enable to get onto those specialist type software programs and instructions they need to go through. But these labs are also used by teachers right across the curriculum for a variety of needs. So while we blend technology into teaching and learning within the classroom, there's still a need for computer labs in the school to undertake certain tasks. We have taken our computer labs and consolidated them into one area that we call the technology center. It's a very open and vibrant place. It's like a library of computers. It allows students to have individual access or breakout areas. It enables teachers to get the kids to collaborate, which you cannot do in a traditional classroom. It allows them to get experimental work done in identified spaces. And most importantly for our students, because a lot of our kids have their own nuances, if you like, with their own technology, that it is a dual platform school. It's networked of both Macintosh computers and PC computers, all high functioning, high spec computers. Here we can see some of the ways that we have grouped computers together in traditional and collaborative forms. A Mac space, these Macintosh computers, um, again, grouped in collaborative and traditional forms. And even in that room, providing a non-computer space because kids do use individual devices and some have very much their own particular interests in bringing their own specialist machine. The PCs in this room, uh, not that we can tell too much from the picture, but all those monitors are curved. So this room is really focused on kids being able to work with each other and, and assist each other as well, even though it doesn't look like they're sitting at a collaborative desk. The spaces here allow students to, to gather and talk and plan because particularly in the areas of digital technologies, the design process and the discussion about where they're moving to is just as important. But we can see further up the aisle there, we've got collaborative spaces and screens where kids share their learning and certainly share their development of projects. More recently, over the last few years, we've redesigned the year seven and eight technology mandatory courses 
that every student in New South Wales school completes. And our courses are drawing together elements of design and technology, if you like, in the areas that use digital technologies, that use laser cutters, 3D printers, design processes, and are all done in a way that's achievable for every child. And we can see here we've got students designing some of their projects on the computer. We've got other kids using the robotics and the coding that would go with that. Uh, we've got a student here using a, um, a digital keyboard on the collaborative table in the middle of the technology centre and some students up to the top right there who have created clocks using the laser cutter and design processes on the computer. Our school library has been one of the most recent bases that has been transformed. It's, a, it's an absolute resource centre, it's certainly a school library, but it now has a variety of flexible spaces throughout the library to enable us to undertake different activities with our students. It has specialist facilities, as we can see in this picture, of a green screen room that allows the multimedia. And what's fantastic about this room is that all students can access quality productions through using the room. You don't need to be an expert to be able to create something quality when they're given an opportunity in this room. And certainly through the computing technology courses, but across the curriculum, teachers are using this room to create short movies and short projects for the kids to communicate their learning. But in other areas of library, the visual studio, a micro lab, breakout spaces, study areas, it is a very contemporary space in that school library that is designed for the students and designed by the students in terms of what they ask for in their library before we to finish it off. So this design learn project started back in 2013. We focused very much on the classroom initially and we've moved along in, in those years. Uh, more recently, after the library, we've even explored outside and the spaces outside with outdoor classrooms is not only creating great spaces for teachers to use outdoors, but during the students' own time at recess or lunchtime and for some seniors who have study periods, this outdoor space is just creating an even calmer existence in a school where we, they don't have to sit on aluminium seats in a bare quadrangle. They've got some really lovely gardens and seating that they can talk, collaborate and enjoy in a very passive way. And it's great to see the kids using these facilities that have been created. We're seeing the enjoyment and collaboration across the school. Our student behaviour is guided by a positive behaviour for learning strategy. It's on task and stronger than it ever has been. Our students appreciate their school. They have ownership to their school. And we don't see, we don't have issues of vandalism or graffiti because there is that respect for each other and respect for their environment as a result of the collaboration that happens across the school with teachers and students around their environments. That increased student and teacher activity is essential for student success academically so that students can get their questions answered but also develop their skills and understanding around concepts as they move through their learning. Technology is obvious in our school and it's obvious as part of teaching and learning and it's here to stay and certainly in the year of 2020 it became very much apparent that it is an essential tool to safeguard us in the long run. We have a very happy school, a very happy school with kids who like the environment they're in, certainly enjoy the relationships they have and enjoy the interaction with their learning and their well-being as a result of our learning spaces at Gaimu.